Hello everybody and welcome back to the Silicon Nubian YouTube channel where we're all about things tech. Today I'm going to take a look, it's a two-part series, I'm going to take a look at a Linux distribution that I have looked at before in a previous version and came away sitting on the fence, to be honest. This is Deepin Linux release version 15.7. Spoiler alert, I am impressed with this distribution as it stands right now. And in the second video, I'm going to dig deep into exactly what makes it so impressive. That being said, this particular video, we're going to detail the installation process of Deepin Linux. Uh, in my opinion, it's one of the simplest and one of the best looking of any installation I've seen of any operating system. Uh, kudos to the Deepin developers for really having an eye for design and something that's very pleasing to the eye. Uh, one thing you'll notice really soon is that Deepin does notice a few things when you're installing and the inst installer is quite intelligent and I'm going to get through that a little bit later as to why I say that. So here we have directly after boot up of the installation media uh, it says to select a default system language we're going to go for English this is what I'm talking about being a little bit more on the intelligence side. It says the system has detected that you are using a virtual machine which will affect the system performance and operation experience. For a smooth experience, it is recommended to install Deepin in real machine environment. In other words, uh, it knows that I'm using this in a, in a uh, virtual machine environment which may definitely impact performance and telling me that for the a more indicative show or a more uh, true uh, performance review would have to be done on real hardware. I'll give them that and I agree 100%. But for the sake of this video, let's continue. Here we can put in the username and it'll generate a computer name and we put in our password. Computer name is automatically generated based on your username and now a password. Once that is done, we continue. Time zone, it automatically detected my proper time zone, not necessarily my city, but the time zone is there. And here is the most complicated part of what I would consider a very simple installation. A newcomer would just use simple or full disk. I'm gonna explain the differences, and then for the more advanced user, we have the advanced option. So let's, let's first go to the advanced option. <clears throat> we select the free space that we wanna use, the drive is there. We can change we can change a few things actually. First of all, the type is primary partition that we can't change. We can <clears throat> start or at the end of the drive for the location of the installation. File system, we can choose uh, ext43 and 2, EFI, swap partition, JFS, RiserFS, XFS, all the bases uh, are covered. Not necessarily as deep in terms of selection as some other uh, distributions, but um, Deepin gets around that. Here we can use set up a mount point. Here we can actually show the size of the partition. So through this tool, this simple tool, we can actually create multiple partitions, create a boot partition, a home partition, we can create a swap file partition, a swap partition, we can do a lot of different things. Uh, it's quite simple to use. Now if we go to simple, we select the drive, start installation. This will tell us what exactly simple means and what it's going to do. Of course, there's the uh, normal warning about backup your important data. And the following operations will be executed. Please confirm and continue to avoid data loss. <clears throat> so it says here, format dev SDA, that's our drive, and create an MS-DOS partition, partition table, sorry. Create a new partition, dev SDA1 as mount point type ext4. <clears throat> so what this is doing is creating one large homogeneous partition on the whole drive and formatting it to ext4 file system. Pretty straightforward. No swap file partition, just one large partition. If we go to full disk, this is different. Now it creates a dedicated swap partition and then creates our mount point, our data drive, as ext4. So the only difference between simple and full disk is the creation of a dedicated swap partition, as far as I can tell. 
while the advance allows you to do things a little bit differently. Of course, with the simple and the full disk, you don't really have control over the size of the swap partition. Uh, once I'll do the installation using full disk and I'll check that out in the next video to see what Deepin has defaulted to, taking into consideration the amount of RAM that I have dedicated to this virtual machine, which is four gigs and the 18 gig uh, drive. We'll see what um, uh, decisions the installer has made based on that. So let's go for the full disk installation, which again will, will uh, give us two partitions, one swap and one data. Click on continue and the installation starts. That, folks, has to be one of the easiest and most pleasant looking installations I've seen. Now, some may scream, oh, it's not detailed enough. Well, I don't think the Deepin developers are as anal about installation process as, let's say, Arch. Sorry, Arch users, I'm a Manjaro user. That's my main uh, system, which gives you a lot more control. No, you don't have as much control, not even with the advanced uh, selection. Do you have the advanced installation selection? Do you have... Uh, uh, a lot of deep uh, choices that you can make in terms of configuration or control but it seems to me so far the defaults seem pretty reasonable and as we dig into the system we'll spend a little time on that uh, one thing I have to say and spoiler alert you'll notice that a lot of the blurb coming across here uh, first and foremost very pleasing to the eye the installation uh, software is extremely pleasing to the eye and you'll notice that Deepin has a lot of and this is something that's very positive the developers create a lot of custom software just for Deepin we have a lot of Deepin utilities we have Deepin video remote desktop full control we have a lot of different things here um, that are specific to the Deepin distribution which can be put into other distributions obviously this is Linux well, that's the installation. Um, it's taken, I've done this before, and it's taken uh, between five and 10 minutes, which is actually pretty good on uh, very reasonable hardware that I have. Uh, running on the AMD Ryzen 1700, overclocked, 3.8 on all cores, uh, 16 gigs of RAM. I've given the, uh, the uh, virtual machine four gigs of RAM, and I've given it an 18 or so gig hard drive which is actually a virtual hard drive, which is based on a uh, SSD. So that being said, things are going really smoothly. We could see some of the features of Deepin. WPS Office is included, uh, Skype, a lot of things that will um, make transition from the Windows environment a lot easier for a lot of users. Uh, while Spotify is there as well, that's pretty cool. So anyways, that's my short and sweet video uh, detailing the installation process of Deepin Linux. Uh, keep an eye on the channel for the next video coming in the next day or two where I will dig deeper into Deepin 15.7, poke around and see what makes this distribution one to watch. Take care and thanks for watching.